Well, welcome to uh, the Bloomfield Gymnasium for the 51st uh, Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. And uh, this promises to be a great game. This is game number five of the first day. And that game is going to be number five, Dexter, against number 12, Puxico. Both teams from Stoddard County, Tommy. I'm Bill Hampton along with Tommy Jacobs. And uh, we're glad that you joined us on YHC TV. Tommy, we just saw a great game. Bloomfield Wildcats trailed most of that game and uh, went on a 15-0 run late in the third quarter and, and throughout the uh, first part of the fourth quarter and finally pulled that game out, winning by a score, if I can look at up here, 10 points, 67-57. Yeah. It was a good game. Good uh, ball game. Van Buren played a very fine game, and, and uh, Bloomfield just came on there at last and pulled it out. And I think it's going to turn out to be a pretty good ball game we're going to see here. Right this right could now. be a, a very good ball game. Uh, Puxico, if they shoot the ball well, they're going to be in the game. Dexter's a little bigger. Right. They uh, Their uh, uh, bench strength is uh, deeper, and uh, we're just really looking forward to this game. Uh, Dexter uh, coached by Rob Nichols, assisted by Sean Geatley. Also, uh, the Puxico uh, Indians, uh, Josh Dowdy, the uh, – Head coach, assistant coach is Dustin Benson. So we'll be giving you a starting lineup. So we're going to tell you this game tonight is brought to you in part by Allen Christian, A plus medical equipment, Three Rivers Community College, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Shop Historic Downtown Dexter Merchants, and the attorneys of Welch, Todd, and Parker in Malden. Also, Glenn Sane of Rector, Kennett, and Paragool. Tommy, we, we look forward to a great game tonight. Oh, I think so. Dexter uh, comes in this game. Play, they played some real good competition. Bucks and Cole, we watched play once and, and a very nice team. Got some good shooters if they're on. It's going to be a good ball game. Yep. Well, the referees for this game, Jay Cookson, Todd Turlington, and Pat Sarda. And I uh, want to tell you also, this game brought to you by First State Bank and Trust, located at 710 West Business 60 in Dexter. They say good luck to the Dexter Bearcats during the 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. It's always great to have people back their uh, teams, Tommy, sure and, and we're glad to announce that on YHC TV. And, again, glad that uh, you have joined us. We've ran into several people uh, when we've had our games off, while Terry Turlington and Terry McVeigh are calling the first uh, uh, every other game tonight, and uh, people are just really uh, thrilled that this is all, that they see us on white, that see those games on white CTV. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. It's it's a very good thing, and we sure enjoy bringing them to them. Well, we appreciate New Wave Cable and all yes, they do. do. Ed Gargas, the uh, regional manager for New Wave Communications, will be joining us a half. We have on camera with us tonight. Kim Stokes and uh, Terry McVeigh and uh, Terry Turlington wondered how we got, and nothing against Justin Gregory, but they want to know how we got a good-looking girl to <laughs> to bring the, to film our games, and, and they got a guy. <laughs> I told him, I said, and McVeigh looked at Turlington and said, when you own the station, that way you make all the calls. That's right. You know, <laughs> when you make the schedule out, you can pencil in who you want. Right? That's right. Did not get the uh, records of these uh, teams. Did you, Tommy? No, I didn't. I know Dexter's played an extremely tough schedule. Sure have. Sure have. And Puxico has lost two games uh, by one point. And uh, a couple times, no time on the clock. Shot was made at the horn. Uh, Josh Dowdy, first-year head coach, really, really, uh, I can sympathize with him, oh, let yeah. me assure you. Starting lineups for the Puxico Indians. Again, Josh Daddy, the head coach, assistant Dustin Benson. Number 11, Jay Hahn, a 5'8 senior. Number 15, John Smith, a 6'1 sophomore. I liked him last year as a yeah, freshman. I sure did. Number 20, a 5'9 senior, Matt Allison. Number 23, a 6'4 senior, Kerry McClure. And a 6'3 senior, number 33, David Kane. Puxico shoots the ball well around the perimeter. They're going to be in the game. That's right. Dexter Bearcats, uh, first-year head coach Rob Nichols, assistant Sean Geatley. Number three, a 5'10 senior, David Hessling. Number five, a 6'4 senior, Eric Windham. Number 10, a 6'2 senior, Bobby Rawson. And, boy, he has grown. Sure Last has. year he wasn't that tall. Number 22, a 5'10 junior, Drew Kelly. 
And number 45, a 6'3 senior, Kevin Hart. And, boy, he he uh, he makes it tough on the inside. Yeah, he's a hoss in there. Again, the referees, Jay, Jay Cookson, Todd Turlington, and Pat Sarda. We uh, hope that you sit back and enjoy watching high school basketball on YHC TV. And with that, we'll tell you, you're watching the 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament on YHC TV. With a former All-State basketball player and a current school board member, the law firm of Welch, Todd & Parker supports high school athletics. Our firm is involved in all areas of the law, and your first consultation is free. The firm is comprised of attorneys John Welch, Darren Todd, and Cameron Bunning Parker, along with four staff members ready to serve you. Welch, Todd & Parker is located at 100 West Main in Malden. Come by or call us at 573-276-2261 for any of your legal needs. How are you doing today? Doing great and wonderful. Hello and welcome to What's Cooking in Our House. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Hometown Shorts. Todd, welcome to the show. Bill, thank you very much. This year, so, or this game, uh, tournament, so I'm not... Well, Tommy, jumping center for Puxico will be Kerry McClure, number 23, and for Dexter Bearcats, Eric Windham, number five. This place is filled up it for sure a late is. afternoon game. Tip up. McClure tips it back, but it's controlled by the Bearcats and driving in and scoring. What a nice power move by Drew Kelly. That was a nice move. He goes in and knocks that, or puts that uh, layup up and knocks it down. And the first foul of the game called on Matt Allison. Going to the line to try to convert on the three-point play, Drew Kelly. Again, 5'10", junior. Four seconds gone in this game. <laughs> and score is 2-0. Ball tipped around. Wyndham with the rebound. Pulls it back out. Gets it over to Hessling. Hessling kicks it back out and out of bounds off the hands of Allison of Puxico. Dexter will retain possession on the side. They kick the ball back to Rawson. Rawson across the timeline gives it to Hessling. Hessling's driving. Kicks the ball out to Rawson. Rawson for three. Ball bounces around twice on that rim and the ball pulled down by Matt Allison. He gets the ball quickly down the floor. Jay Hahn for three, scores it. There is it. Jay Hahn's a nice shooter. Oh, I guarantee you, Hahn can shoot with any of them when sure he gets can. squared up and he gets that rhythm going. 3-2, Puxico on top, 7.20 to go in the first quarter. <laughs> Kelly with the drive, couldn't get it to go. Ball out of bounds, goes over to Puxico. Again, Tommy, we think any team from here on out can win in this, right. uh, in this first round. I mean, uh, these teams are so evenly matched now. Ball tipped around. Dexter takes it away. Hessling with the ball. Gets it over to Wyndham. Wyndham down in the corner to Rawson. He drives. No good. Rebound there by Crane. He gets the ball over to Smith. And Smith is going to be fouled. Foul is going to be on Drew Kelly, his first, team's first. Each team now with one foul each, 6.55 to go. First quarter, 3-2, Puxico on top. Glad you joined us. White CTV, glad to be here at the Bloomfield 51st Christmas Tournament. Allison inbounds to McClure. From the corner, Allison. Now, I want to tell you, if Allison and Hahn <laughs> right. can hit from that three-point uh, three line, it's going to be a, a, a great game. Hart out from three, no good. Hessling tips it around. Hart gets control of it. We're going to have a push foul. Push foul is going to be on Jay Hahn. Good hustle there. Very good hustle. By Kevin Hart and David Hessling of the Bearcats. Second team foul. First foul on Jay Hahn. Rawson with the ball to Hessling. Back to Rawson to Hessling. Hessling thought about three. Pulled it back. Putting up three and knocking it down. Drew Kelly. He has all five of Dexter's points. 6.20 to go in the first period. Puxico on top of Dexter, 6-5. Smith with the ball. Gets the ball to Allison. Allison to McClure. McClure over to Hahn. Back to McClure. 
to Allison. Jahan for three, buries it. Buries it. Two for two behind a three-point line. You know, he didn't do that at the Bernie tournament. No, he didn't. Hessling for three, off the rim. Pulled down by Smith, and Smith gets the ball to Allison. Allison across the timeline to Hahn. Back to Allison. Allison drives, stops. Ball taken away in there by David Hessling. Hessling quickly down the left side of the floor. Skips the ball over to Kelly. Kelly for three, will not go. Ball rebounded by Eric Windham. Puts it up, scores it. Eric Windham with his first bucket of the night. Very nice rebound by Eric Windham. Power, powerful rebound. 9-7, Puxico on top of Dexter. Rawson with a steal, gives it to Hart, to Wyndham. Wyndham to Rawson. Nice defense by Dexter. Hessling to Rawson. Rawson at the top of the game from the free throw line, puts it up, will not go, ball tipped around. McClure comes down with it for Puxico. Nice pass out there to the big guy, he couldn't get it to go as Kane couldn't control himself as he went under. Kelly down the floor very quickly to Hessling. He's going to be called for walking. Shuffled his feet there, Tommy. Yes, he did. 4.52 to go in the first period. 9-7, Pucks it on top. Both teams getting that ball up and down the court, Bill. It's going to be a fun game. It is. Josh Dowdy, a graduate of Dexter High School, coaching at Pucks Co. I know how that feels. Coach to Clarkton, graduated at Malden. And, uh, yeah. Just one of those things. We're going to have a reach-around foul by Kevin Hart over the, over the back there. His first, team second. Both teams now with two fouls. Inbounding on the side will be Matt Allison for our Puxy Co. Allison, a 5'9 senior, gets the ball into Smith. Smith working against Kelly, gets it down to Hahn. Allison with a shot from deep in the corner or from on the side there and scores it. Good ball movement. Yes, Matt Allison with his second bucket. He now has five and a quarter. Rawson with a drive and going to call a blocking foul that time on. David Kane, his first, team's third. Going the line to shoot two will be Bobby Rawson. Excuse me. Yeah, Bobby Rawson. Rawson, a 6'2 senior. First one up, will not go. Coming in for David Hessling is Logan Carwell, boy, he played a lot last year. He sure did. That name a bunch. Second shot in and out. Carwell with the ball. Gives it over to Rawson. Back to Carwell. Just into the game, trying to get in the flow. Hart's got the ball. He's working the, to the free throw line. Oh, nice, nice shot, shot there by Kelly. I tell you what, the young man has buried it, hadn't he? Sure has. Somebody's going to have to get on that young man. It's his second three of the night, Tommy. Ball tipped around. What nice defense by Rawson. Carwell driving down and went in for the layup. Had the ball blocked. We've got a ball off the foot of Matt Allison of Puxico. Turned back over to the Bearcats. 11-10, Puxico on top of Dexter with 3.49 to go in this first period. Good ball game. Good first quarter. Yeah, we enjoyed this. (laughs) Sell us a ticket. Yes. (laughs) Ball into Kevin Hart. He puts it up. Nice turnaround shot. Hits the side of the backboard, but Wyndham there puts it up. No good. Rebound by Matt Allison of the Indians. Allison quickly down to Smith. Smith, the lefty, driving. Puts up a running layup. Scores it. Very nice drive. 13-10. Pucks a on top. 3.20 to go in the first period. Carwell with the ball for Dexter. Hans on him. Wyndham has it, tries to throw underneath the heart, over three. Coming, coming into the ball game for Dexter is Tyler Scott. Coming out is Eric Wyndham. Dexter in a full court press. Oh, the ball through the hands had going to be a turnover, a ball intended for him. David Kane went right off his hands out of bounds. Dexter's press created that turnover. Yeah, sure it did. No pressure on the throw-in, man. No. Everybody else playing man-to-man. Carwell with the ball for Dexter Bearcats. 
Hart with a power move down on the baseline. Will not go. Kane with the rebound. Gets it to Smith. Smith to Allison. 2.50 to go in the first period. Oh, nice, nice pass, pass down. And then, well, the ball ended up on Jay, uh, off Jay Hogg's hands. It's a good pass down that time to McClure. And he tried to get the ball out. Coming in for Puxico for McClure is number 21, a 5'9 senior, Don Donner. Carwile with the ball. He's going to drive the left side. Puts up a running layup. Scores it. Logan Carwile with his first points of the night. 13-12. Puxico still on top by one with two and a half minutes to go in the first period. Tommy Jacobs along with Bill Hampton bringing you this game. Drew Kelly that time with a near steal. He's called for a foul. His second. Team's third. Donner inbounding the ball for Puxico. Coming into the game for Kelly is David Hessling. Matt Allison with the ball. Extra in a 2-3 zone, Tommy, or it yeah. could be a matchup. Now, that that matchup and yeah. that 2-3 that zone look a lot alike according to what they're doing, but I'm going to call it a 2-3 zone. Sure looks like it. Though. Hart really had his hand up that time, sure but missing is. the shot, following it up was John Smith. He knocked, he puts it back in. He has four in a quarter. 15-12, pucks it on top by three. Carwell with the ball to Hart. Hart to Rawson, to Hessling. Hessling to Carwell. Nice pass in that time nice. by Scott into the big guy. He puts it up. Kevin Hart scores it. He Hart. want that David Hart's a load in there. He is. And that was a nice pass in sure that was. time. Inlet pass by Tyler Scott. Hart's first uh, bucket of the night, 15-14. Minute and a half to go in this first period. Allison with the ball for Puxico. Tommy, I'm not so sure it's not a matchup. Well, that, it sure looks like it now. Now it does. Everybody's following the ball. Oh, good hustle by Jay Hahn. Yes. He and Tyler Scott get tied up there. Good hustle all the way by both sides. Sure was, both teams. Alternate possession on the jump ball. Goes over to Puxico with 1.14 to go in the first period. Puxico 15, Dexter 4. Eric Wyndham back into the game. Coming out is Kevin Hart for Dexter. Also coming back into the game for Puxico is Kerry McClure. Going out is Don Donner. He gave him a good uh, couple of minutes sure there. Did. Smith with the ball for Puxico. Yeah, it's got to be a yeah, matchup. Match up. Oh, yeah. good idea. Wyndham, uh, good steal there. Ball to Carwell. Back to Wyndham. Wyndham's playing out at the top. Yes, it's, it kind of surprised me. Carwell with the drive. It's going to be fouled. Foul is going to be on. Kerry McClure is first. Team's fourth. Going to the line to shoot two will be Logan Carwell. Carwell with two in the game. 57 seconds to go in his first period. He can tie the game up for Dexter. First one goes. Coming in for Bobby Rawson is Ben Mills. He's a 5'10 sophomore. If I'm not mistaken, he's the quarterback on the Dexter football team. Called that name a lot. Eric Wyndham with the rebound on the missed free throw. Scott has it, the ball taken away by John Smith. He's going to go the length of the floor, puts it up, scores it. John Smith, he's a lefty, put that ball up right-handed. Sure he is. has six and a quarter, 17-15 with 40 seconds to go. Eric Wyndham under the bucket, puts up a shot, will not go. Rebound by David Hessling. He puts it up, will not go. Rebounded by David Kane. We have a foul on David Hessling, his first. 33 seconds to go. Jay Hahn with the ball. Pucks and goes going to have to hurry to get across the yes, timeline. They, they just made it. Allison with the ball. Ball over to Jay Hahn. He's been quiet ever since those first two threes. Yeah, sure. He hadn't touched the ball much in the offensive end. <laughs> Down to 10 seconds to go. Hahn's got it. Let's see what he wants to do. He gives it to Smith. Underneath to McClure. 
Ball stolen by Dexter. Four seconds to go. Three, two. Quick shot by Carlisle. Will not go at the horn to end the first period. Puxico on top of the Dexter Bearcats, 17 to 15. You're watching the 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament on YHC TV. Come and experience how fine shopping can be in beautiful, historic downtown Dexter. At Gregory's Creations, fragrant candles and limp paper shave fills the air. Brides are registering for Fine China. Many unique gift ideas and a warm, friendly atmosphere is created at Patricia's Tea Room. Plus, Patricia's Tea Room serves lunch Thursday through Saturday at 11 to 2. Call J.R. York, attorney at law, You've been injured by another's negligence, hurt at work, or denied disability. Over 20 years' experience, J.R. York, attorney at law. Call 624 7406. Glen Sane Ford on Highway 49 North in Perigal is your Ford Mercury dealer. Glen Sane and Perigal has great deals every day on all Ford and Mercury vehicles. We also have the best selection of pre owned vehicles around. Glen Sane and Perigal has an outstanding service department with some of the top technicians in the country. We're located on Highway 49 North in Perigal. Glen Sane Ford, where our price and friendliness bring you here and our service bring you back. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college or career classes. Three Rivers affordable tuition. Means Pell Grants go further. I can use A+. I got a scholarship. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. It's a good basketball game. Bill, both teams getting the ball up and down the court. Both teams stepping out behind that three-point line, bearing a few three-pointers. Eric Windham's had a nice first quarter. He's got in there and battled those boards. Play some good defense. Kevin Hart's only had, I think, two points, but you get Kevin Hart going in that lane in there, he's going to be hard to handle. Well, quick scoring. Uh, Drew Kelly had eight in the first quarter. He had two threes plus another uh, two-point field goal, uh, two by Wyndham, three by Logan Carwile, and two by Kevin Hart. Dexter one for five from the free throw line. That could come back to haunt That's him. That's right. Uh, Puxico has not shot a free throw. You have six by Han, six by John Smith, and five by Matt Allison, and we figured those three guys would be the bulk of their scoring anyway. Right. Uh -huh. Been a good game, been a fun game. Both teams, like I said, getting that ball up down the court. Both teams playing some good defense. And uh, Dexter putting the press on Puxico, but uh, Puxico's handling pretty good. Both teams turned it over two or three times each. Been a nice play in first quarter. Dexter will start with the ball to start the second quarter. David Hessling will inbound. Gets the ball to Bobby Rawson. Back to Hessling to Rawson. Skips it over to Carwell, down to Hart. Hart brings the ball back out, gives it to Carwell, over to Rawson, down to Hessling. They're just skipping the ball around inside to Hart. He's going to go inside, work against the big guy, puts it up and in. Kevin Hart, you said it, Tommy, yeah. during the break or during the uh, timeout between uh, the first and second quarter. They get it inside to Hart down low. He's a handful. Yes, he is. He went against the big guy. McClure knocked it down. Smith with a drive. Wyndham with a block. Dexter has a ball. Gets it over to Rawson. Rawson down to Hart. Hart's going to work inside, and we've got a push foul on David Kane, his second, team's fifth. 17 all, tie score, and Dexter's going to inbound under their bucket. Eric Wyndham will inbound. Got the ball to Hart. Hart falls short, but David Hessling there to put it back in. His first bucket of the night. Dexter takes the lead, 19-17. Their first lead since they were ahead 2 zip. I think that's right, yeah. <laughs> Look at that hustle by Logan Carwile, and but the ball goes out of bounds off him, but what hustle. Sure was. The Dexter fans hustle. appreciate it. Well, they gave, gave it to Dexter. Gave it to Dexter. And the Pucks and Cope fans didn't appreciate no. it, but it was a good call. Carwell with a three-pointer, would not go. Ralston with the rebound, gets it over to Wyndham. Wyndham drives, puts it up, does not go, gets his own rebound, brings it out, gets the ball over to Carwell. He drives in. We're going to have a charge foul on Logan Carwell. His first, team's fourth. 
David Kane stood in there and took that charge. Sure did. Nice defense by the big guy. 6.45 to go in the second period. Dexter on top of Puxico, 19-17. Got Allison across the timeline, and we're going to have a holding foul on Bobby Rawson, his first, team's fifth. Team six, I should say, Tommy. So the next foul on Dexter will send Puxico Indians to the line for one and one, and they're a good shooting team. Yes, yes, sure are. Oh, good drive. Matt Allison driving. Boy, he put it up off balance. Put it, knocked you home. First bucket of the quarter, seven in the game. (laughs) Kelly back in for the Dexter Bearcats. Gets it down to Wyndham, back out to Kelly. Kelly over to Ralston, over to Hessling, down to Hart. Hart from the corner, puts it up, scores it. Hey, okay, watch this Hart stand out there on that side, Barry. That thing. You come out and get him, he'll drive around you and lay it up. Very well said. It's uh, fourth point of the quarter, six for the night. Dexter back on top by two, 21-19, six minutes to go. Smith across the timeline. We've got a timeout on the floor. I, a 20-second timeout by the Puxico Indians. You're watching the 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament on YHC-TV. Well, everybody's got the same vehicle to sell. All we have to sell is service and uh, reputation. You seem to want to treat the customer the way you want to be treated. They're going to be treated good. They're going to get good service. They're going to get a good vehicle. Taking care of the people after the sale. We feel like we're absolutely the best. It's all a family, customers and, and the people we work here. We have a good reputation with a lot of good people. I only had Alan Christian and Dexter. Come and experience how fun shopping can be in beautiful, historic downtown Dexter. Visit or call Wallace & Owens Country Mart Bakery for all your special occasions. Steaks, chops, hams, and seafoods are just a few specialties you will find at Wallace & Owens Country Mart. Morgan Furniture and Appliance has name brands such as Justice, Ashley, Cochran, Best Chair, Sealy, Whirlpool, and KitchenAid. That's Morgan Furniture and Appliance in downtown Dexter. The Bunny Patch has formal wear for all occasions. Looking for prom, pageant, and bridal accessories, including shoes and jewelry? Shop the Bunny Patch, where you can also get tuxedo rentals. A-plus medical equipment of Dexter has the answers for you. Oxygen patients, are you unhappy with your service? There's no cost to switch and generally no doctor visit is required. Home delivery, friendly staff, and high quality equipment is the A-plus way. A-plus delivers the best in customer service for Southeast Missouri. For all your care, we're always there. A-plus medical equipment located at 8 North Catalpa in Dexter. Call us toll free at 888-624-0402. Mexico coach thought they had him trapped over here, and they did. And so he wanted to get that timeout, keep losing that basketball. And I'll tell you what, this is this is a fun game. Uh, Hart is just Kevin Hart, nice player. He plays some very, very good minutes. And they're going to have to stop him. Like I said, he'll step out on the side and bear a little jump shot, and you come out on him, he'll drive around you, dish it off and lay it up and in. Yep. Very well said. It's been a good ball game. It is a fun game. Good yeah. game. I've enjoyed uh, watching this. Two good teams. Oh, yeah. Good and and we thought this would be a good ball game. Yeah. We thought the key would be could Puxico shoot from the perimeter? Right. Uh-huh. Could they knock it down? If they could, we felt felt like it would be a good game. Dexter has impressed me. Uh, Kelly has with his perimeter shooting sure uh, from the three. So, uh, yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. It sure has. And, and as it happened, Puxico went down, buried two three-pointers. But Dexter's got out on them shooters now and put a stop to that. Well, Puxico has possession of the ball. They trail by two with 5.57 to go in the second quarter. Allison with the ball. Gives it to Smith. Back to Allison. To McClure. McClure down to Hahn. Boy, they have shut Hahn down, haven't they? They sure have. They know Hahn is, is a key on the outside. But this guy right here, Matt Allison, is too. Puts that one up. Misses. Rebound by Bobby Rawson. Rawson with the ball, down across the timeline, skips it over to Hessling. Hessling back to Rawson. Inside to Eric Winter. What a move. Nice move, Eric oh, Winter. He couldn't get it to go, but tipped up by David Hessling. What a nice tip. What a, sure he was. came to the bucket hard and got that tip. But what a nice move by Eric Windham. That's 
I tell you what, we watched that young man play when he was a sophomore. Right. Uh-huh. And he, uh, he's just gotten stronger each year. He, he's got more confidence, and, and he's gotten stronger. He plays football, and you know, he, you know he's lifted right. weights. That's right. He, he's always been a nice player. Hahn from uh, three at the perimeter will not go. Rebounded by Rawson. Quickly to Hessling. Two on one to Wyndham. He has the ball knocked out of his hands, but the foul going to be called on Jay Hahn. It's going to be his second to team six. Going to line to shoot two for the Dexter Bearcats will be Eric Wyndham. Both teams now will be in the one and one on the next foul. Dexter is really rebounding on both ends of the court. Oh, yes. First shot put up by Wyndham will not go. Dexter on top of four coming in for Jay Hahn will be Eric Williams. He is a 5'9 junior, wears number 10. Second by Wyndham, uh, short, but Kevin Hart with the rebound, puts it up, no good, rebounded that time by David Kane. Kane gets the ball to Smith, to Allison. Now Dexter's coming out, that's got to be a uh, matchup. It's got to bring be. it way up and you see what they're doing. They're pointing who's got who out there. Brad Botch helped. Brad Botch really helped me on on what a matchup uh, is versus a zone. I call it a sinking man to man. Most coaches would, would shiver. <laughs> they, they would really get aggravated at me on that. Shot put up by three oh, pointer nice put up by Puxico would not go. Dexter quickly down the floor. Great defense Great on defense. Puck, on Puxico to keep uh, keep a breakaway layup. But Dexter will keep the ball under their own offensive bucket. Four seventeen to go. In the second quarter, Dexter still on top of Puxico, 23-19. Wyndham with the ball to Hessling, down in the corner to Kelly. Kelly puts up a three, scores it. Scores it. I've been really impressed with this Drew Kelly and his shooting. And Dexter with a takeaway, puts it up and in. Hessling with a takeaway, and he missed the shot, but right there was Kelly for the rebound. Kelly with a very quick five points there in just a few seconds. He has 13 in the game. We've got timeout on the floor with Dexter Bearcats leading the Puxico Indians 28-19. You're watching the 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament on YHC-TV. What if sports were much more than just a game and there was more at stake than just the score? What if it were possible to see the world impacted for Jesus Christ through the influence of athletes and coaches? Hi, my name is Bill Ray. I'm the area representative for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in Southeast Missouri. If you'd like to see athletes and coaches striving to win, doing it God's way, call me at 280-0932 or go to fca.org and put in your zip code. FCA, the heart and soul in sports. That ought to do it. Assuming you've done enough for retirement doesn't make much sense either. That's why you should invest with Edward Jones to make sure you're on the right track. Because two out of three Americans are unprepared for retirement. Don't be one of them. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Dexter's defense has kicked it up a notch. They've called a couple quick turnovers, got some quick baskets off of them. Well, Tommy, uh, Dexter is outscored in this quarter, the Puxico Indians, in the first three minutes and 56 seconds. So you might as well say yeah. the first uh, half of the uh, the second quarter, they have outscored them 13-2. to Yeah. So they're on a run right yes, now. They are. And uh, Coach Josh Dowdy of the Puxico Indians called a timeout. He wants to get the bleeding yeah, stopped. That's right. I'll tell you what, you got to. You can't let a good team like Dexter get too far out ahead of you now because they're a good team. Yep. And they, I'm very impressed with the inside play of Wyndham. Wyndham and Hart's pretty good players in there. Oh, yeah. Of course, we knew, we knew they were. They were good last year and are doing better this year. So. Well, boy, this is just a fun place to come do oh, a game. We've got uh, great seats. Uh, We've got a great camera person in Kim Stokes. Yes, we do. I'm Bill Hampton along with Tommy Jacobs. Glad that you joined us for this game. And uh, we've got, of course, we'll just be showing one game at a time right. on our TV, but we've got three more games three tonight. More Terry Turlick and Terry McVeigh will be doing two of those games. Tommy and I will be doing the Kenneth Malden game. That'll be a dandy. That'll be a dandy. I think so. Everybody I've talked to is picking Kenneth to upset Malden. Really? They uh, think if they're hitting that three-point shot, they will. Turnover by the Puxico Indians. Josh Dowdy 
did not need that. Call no, a timeout. No. You want to go down and score. That's right. And here they, John Smith just had to go off his hands out of bounds. Yeah. Dexter gets the ball back. Hessling to Rawson. Over to Kelly. Kelly the other side for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound by McClure. Allison with the ball. Stops. Puts it up. No good. Smith goes up high for the rebound. Can't get it to go. Ball tipped around. The big guy, McCain, puts it up. Can't get it to go. McClure with a tip back. Couldn't get it to go. And John Smith finally gets it to go down. Smith now with, that's his first bucket of the second quarter, but he has eight in the game. He's going to go to the line to try to convert on the three-point play. And Pucks and Cole banged those boards that time. Took that thing, missed about three shots, got three rebounds, finally put it back in. Sure did. Smith the line. Try to convert on this three-point play, and that's what they need to stop was that's the bleeding. Right. Free throw up, good. Smith now with nine in the game. Rawson with the ball, gives it to Kelly. Down to Hessling. Hessling's going to drive. Gets it to Wyndham. Wyndham goes inside, scores it. Very nine. good dish. Good dish, good ball movement, good presence of mind where everybody was. And you notice what Wyndham did? He came right. to the bucket. He sure went did. down that lane. Oh, the ball. I, look at that Dexter hustle after oh, that ball. They're all I mean, out. they're hustling. The ball out of bounds. We're going to have a foul called. Foul's going to be on Kevin Hart, his third. He's picked up two quick ones right He sure has. Picked up two quick ones this quarter. Coming in for him is going to be Tyler Scott. To the line to shoot a one and one will be Matt Allison. He has not been to the line tonight. He has seven in the game. Free throw up, scores it. Gets the bonus. Logan Carwell in for Drew Kelly. Boy, Kelly's had a great game, hasn't he? He sure has. Yeah. He needed to rest. <laughs> <laughs> he really had a nice game. He, he might argue with you. Yeah, on that. Say, Coach, I'm hot. Let me <laughs> keep me in there. Dexter oh, breaks the pass and over to Hessling. He couldn't control that pass. Too high for him. Turnover by the Bearcats. Smith with the ball. 30-24. Puxico on top with 2.50 to go in the second period. Smith still has a ball. Gets it to Allison. Down to Kane. Kane to Hahn to Smith. Smith's going to drive in. Gets the ball out to Allison. He's going to drive. Puts up a 12-footer. Scores it. Scores it. At Allison with his second bucket of the period. He has nine in the game. Or has 11 in the game. Excuse me. Logan Carwell with a pass. Banks it home. Nice shot. Carwell with... Five in the game. Smith with the ball across the timeline. Gets it to Kane. Out to McClure. To Allison. Down to Hahn. Hahn to Smith. Oh, nice pass down to Allison. Allison tried to hit uh, Kane, but the ball taken away by the Bearcats. Two minutes to go in this second period. 32-26. Nice cross-court cross pass to Hessling. A reverse. Couldn't get it to go. Jay Hahn with the rebound for the Puxico Indians. Oh, nice pass down the sure corner. Sure was. Kane with the shot. Will not go. Follows his, ball, follows his shot. Gets his rebound. Puts it up and in. David Kane with his first bucket. Cuts the Dexter lead to four, 32-28. Hessling down in the corner. Pulls it out. Bobby Ralston with a drive. Cannot get it to go. Wyndham with the rebound. He's going to be fouled. Eric Wyndham will go to the line to shoot two. Foul is going to be on number 33, David Kane, his third. His third. So you've got Kane and Hart, both of the big guys for both teams, Puxico and Dexter, with three fouls each. First shot by Wyndham will not go. Coming into the game for Dexter. Is Jared Stevens. He is a six foot junior. And coming in for Puxico is Don Donner. Second one put up by Wyndham. Will not go in the ball on the floor. And look who's in there. The new guy they just sent in, Jared Stevens. He looks it's like a, he could be kind of scrappy. He looks like he could be, yes. And uh, they come up to jump ball. Alternate possession goes to Puxico. 32 28, 124 to go in the second period. Smith has it.
I, it's Ben Mills. Well, Ben Mills is in the game too. Uh-oh. Jahan got hit in the face accidentally by Jared Stevens. Foul's going to be on Stevens, his first. Game kind of got slow here all of a sudden. Sure did. It, yes, it did. It was kind of slowed down. Got a little perspiration on the ball. Going to wipe that off. Jay Cookson, the official there. Jay Hahn to the line. He's not been to the free throw line tonight. He scored uh, two threes in the first uh, period and has not scored since. Free throw up. Will not go. Ball tipped around. Puxico will main, uh, retain possession. Donner to Smith. Inside to Donner, and he throws a ball back. And as he was falling out of bounds, uh-huh. Rawson has it. Boy, Dexter on a run, and Jay Hahn is going to commit the foul. It's going to be his third foul, Tommy. Yeah, they, they've got two. Uh, Hahn, they can't afford to get him in too much foul trouble. No. Going to the line to shoot two is going to be. Bobby Rawson, he's 0 for 2 from the line, has not scored. First free throw, no good. Coming in for Hahn is number 13, Travis Stewart. He is a 5'8 junior. Second one up, scores it. First points of the night for Rawson. We're under a minute to go in this second period. 33-28, Puxico on top. Ball off of Jared Stevens' foot. Puxico will keep possession at midcourt. Smith with the ball, working against Mills. Allison, back to Stewart. Back to Allison for three. Scores it. it. Allison with nine in the quarter, 31-33, and Dexter throws the ball away with 32 seconds to go in this second quarter. Texaco's back in the game. Sure they I mean, made they, a good run there. Yes, they have. Think about it, and they made it with Jay Hahn on the bench yeah. and David Kane. Smith with the ball to Stewart, to Allison. Down in the corner to McClure for three, will not go. Donner knocks the ball and keeps it in bounds. Allison picks it up, tries to hit Smith inside. The ball knocked out of bounds by Eric Wyndham. Coming into the game for the Dexter Bearcats is Tyler Scott. Going out is Jared Stevens. 15 seconds to go in this second quarter. McClure with the ball, gets to Smith. He drives, puts it up, will not go. Rebound by... Ben Mills to uh, Rawson. Rawson looked at the clock, has time, goes in. It will not go, but he's going to go to the line to shoot two. Foul on number 13, Travis Stewart, his first. Both teams are in the double bonus from here on out, but there's only five, five seconds, seconds to go. So Rawson's first will not go. We're going to give you the stats on these free throws a half. You're going to see Dexter could be out by a pretty good uh, margin if they would have connected on a good percent of them. Second one good. Allison for the corners. The horn sounds. Will not go. Actually, the horn hadn't sounded horn yet. Hadn't and uh, put back by Stewart. Would have been good if it had gone. Sure but would've. it did not. The end the first half of play, the Dexter Bearcats on top of the Puxico Indians, 34-31. You're watching the 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament on YHC TV. Imagine a future where one company could offer you cable, internet, and phone. Well, with New Wave, you get digital cable with DVR, HDTV, and an interactive guide. Unbelievable speed with high-speed internet. And now, even digital phone service, giving you unlimited calling coast to coast, all from one company. Welcome to the future. Call New Wave Communications now for great installation specials. 
single white female enjoy shopping, long walks, and cuddling. Will you marry me? Investing with someone you've never met doesn't make much sense either. That's why Edward Jones opens offices in our clients' neighborhoods, so you can get investment advice from someone you actually know. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Well, the Puxico cheerleaders performing here at halftime between the Puxico uh, Indians Dexter Bearcat basketball game and I'm joined uh, right here with the uh, regional manager for New Wave Communications Ed Gargas and Ed uh, thanks for uh, stopping in and uh, talking to all of our viewers what's going on with New Wave uh, a lot of things Bill first of all thanks for having me I tell you we're glad to see YHC affiliated with the Bloomfield Christmas tournament again and of course we're always extremely proud of everything that you guys bring to our cable system but uh, the big news with New Wave in Northeast Arkansas is that we're bringing everything online and uh, we just have a few technical things to work out after the first of the year we're gonna be able to launch our phone service there in those seven communities as well as uh, increase our internet speed so we're really looking forward to that bringing world-class communication services to those towns in Northeast Arkansas uh, what we're also proud of is that we've had a great year in southeast Missouri in, in, in what we call the new wave original, if you will. But uh, And we're very proud to say that we've been able to hold our Internet and our telephone costs level again for going into our third year now. So uh, we're able to keep those costs fixed and pass those savings on to our customers, better improving their quality of life and their communication services at, at a very reasonable price and where you can't find it in a lot of places in rural, especially in southeast Missouri. So uh, we're very proud of that accomplishment, very proud of our customers and all that they do for us, and, and we're happy to pass those things on to them. Well, Ed, I, you know, I am a customer of New Wave. I, as you well know, I am with YHCTV, not New Wave Communications. Yeah. We're glad to have New Wave on as a sponsor for this tournament. But I will say the high-speed Internet, the uh, 70 channels that we're now getting on the extent expanded basic yes sir. also the telephone service is second to none what a great job you guys have done to the communities that uh, you serve and to the people that you serve and uh, we're proud to be associated and proud to be on the new wave cable system as a uh, tv channel uh, your hometown channel wide ctv 
in all the towns that we service. Well, thank you. And again, like I say, Bill, we're always proud to have you guys around and everything you do for us. You make us part of what we are and really enhance and bring a quality of uh, programming that they can't find anywhere else. And uh, but you know, as you're aware, we're the ownership, primary ownership of New Wave Communications from Southeast Missouri, small towns, and they're very proud and very committed to bringing world-class services yes, to these are. communities and I'm very proud to be a part of all of that being a Southeast Missouri guy myself and uh, it, we just can't say enough about it you know but, and this tournament turned out to be a great great game here all right but, let me tell uh, you the the people of Bloomfield they've had plenty of experience in running a tournament and they do a great job yes they do uh, it, and it's a it, it looks on my part from the outside to be like an entire school system effort they've got everybody and anybody or anybody and everybody involved in this thing, from parking cars to working with the hospitality room to showing people around and directing them where they need to go. It's just a great event throughout for all of southeast Missouri, and uh, especially those 16 towns and teams that are participating in the tournament. While you're sitting here, I want to go over the uh, halftime stats sure, real quick because sure. uh, the second half is going to be starting in just a moment for the Dexter Bearcats. Drew Kelly leads all scores with 13 points. Kevin Hart with uh, six points. Four each to Eric Windham and David Hessling. Two to uh, Bobby Rawson and five to Logan Carwile. Foul-wise, uh, they only have one guy, Kevin Hart. He has three fouls. Two to uh, Drew Kelly. One each to Hessling, Rawson, and Logan Carwile. For the Puxico Indians, they're led in scoring by Matt Allison with 14. Nine by John Smith. Six by Jay Hahn. Two by David Kane. Foul-wise, Hahn and Kane both have three each. Then one each to Stewart. Matt Allison and McClure. The thing that sticks out in this game, Dexter is three for 13 from the line. Yes, sir. And uh, Puxico is three for four. So Dexter, if they had to hit about uh, 60% of their free throws, they would have a uh, about an eight, nine, ten point lead here at half. A little right? more, a little more cushion there. So that's why they shoot them. Absolutely. But I know uh, Coach Dowdy. He may be a little. I won't say frustrated is the right word, disappointed in a couple of those fouls, but he's got his guys hustling every bit, every play out there, and we're seeing a lot of exciting basketball. Sure. Only stands to show we're going to see even more throughout the day and the rest of the week. Well, we're going to take a break. You're watching the 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament on YHC TV. Come and experience how fun shopping can be in beautiful, historic downtown Dexter. At Trinkets and Treasures, you will find a unique shop featuring charming antiques, gifts, and collectibles. Customers come first at First Midwest Bank, located at 20 West Stoddard. Phone 624-3571. First Midwest Bank, chartered in 1963 and still locally owned and operated. Whether redecorating or registering for your wedding, discover beautiful home decor at Decor. Glensay Motors has two great locations, Rector, Arkansas and Kennett, Missouri. Glensay Motor and Rector has old makes, models of GMC Yukon, Sierra Trucks, and Acadias. Glen St. Motors in Kennett has Chevrolet, Cadillac, Pontiac, Buick, and GMC Trucks. Glen St. Motors located on Highway 49 North in Rector and 1607 Independence in Kennett. Glen St. Motors, where friends bring you here and service brings you back. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college. Why pay university prices? When the same classes at TRCC cost a lot less. I can use A+. I get individual attention. I'm close to home. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Well, Tommy, the second half getting ready to start here. And a good first half basketball. It's been a great I first they, half. I think uh, they may go down to the wire, Bill. You didn't get to hear the stats on the no. uh, free throws. Dexter is three for 13. No. Puxico three for four. Hey, what? You know Dexter's coach not happy about that. No, he's not happy with that. We want to tell you this game tonight brought to you by First State Bank and Trust located at 710 West Business 60 in Dexter. They say good luck to the Bloomfield and to the Bernie and to the Dexter Bearcats during this great tournament. We also want to tell you this game brought to you in part by Allen Christian, A-plus medical equipment, Three Rivers Community College, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Historic Downtown Dexter, the attorneys of Welch, Todd, and Parker in Malden, also Glenn Sane of Rector, Kennett, and Paragul. Dexter starts with the ball. Rawson has it to Hessling. Inside to Wyndham. He goes up, puts up a shot. Nice move, nice move by, by the big guy. Good. He has six in the game. 
Dexter in a full court press. Allison with the ball. Gives it to McClure to Kane. Back to Allison to Hahn from the corner for three. Knocks it down. Jay Hahn picking up where he did in the first quarter. He didn't score in the second quarter. He has nine in the game. All of them are threes. Three threes. Rawson over to Kelly. He puts up a shot. No good. Rawson with a rebound. Oh, what a nice oh, little nice. hook that time. Couldn't get it to go. But, boy, what a nice shot. And the ball out of bounds off of Dexter. Puxico will maintain possession. 36-34. Dexter over Puxico with 7-10 to go in this third period. What a great game. Very great game. Both <laughs> teams really going at it. You like this, don't I you? I like this. <laughs> What did that guy say? If you can't get excited about this, you don't have a pulse. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Hahn with the ball. We're going to have a holding foul. A holding foul is going to be on David Hessling, his second, team's first of the second half. 6.55 to go in this third period. 36-34, Dexter on top. Hahn with the ball, gets it to Smith. Smith down to McClure. McClure inside to Allison. He kicks it out to Hahn for three. The shot in and out. Rebound by Dexter. Rawson has it. Dexter with the numbers. Three on one. Gives nice it to dish. Kelly. Good dish. Kelly puts it down. Drew the way Kelly. You handle a two on one right there. Kelly with his first bucket of the second half. Has 15 in the game. Allison with the ball. To McClure, to Hahn, to Smith. Smith still working inside, puts it up, will not go, gets his own rebound, puts it up, it's going to be fouled. I want to tell you, that young man he battled sure the boards he that sure time. Did. Foul is going to be on Eric Wyndham, his first, team second. The line to shoot two is going to be John Smith. He's one for one from there tonight. He has nine in the game. Free throw up, scores it. Touch the coat, he's pretty hot from that line. 6'1 sophomore, Smith. He started every game as a freshman last he year. Did. He did a good job. Put up, yes, he did. It put under a lot of fire. Next one up, no good. Rebounded by Wyndham. Gives a ball to Kelly, to Hessling. Back to Kelly. To Rawson. The ball kicked out of bounds by Puxico. Dexter will keep the ball on the side of the court. Rawson has it. Gives it to Hessling. Down into the corner to Hart. Puts up a 10-footer. Oh, would not go, but Rawson with a rebound. Sticks it back. Will not go. Rebound by McClure. He gets the ball to Allison, who gets it to Smith. Smith's going to drive. He goes in and puts it up the right hand. No good. Rebound by Bobby Rawson of Dexter. 5.45 to go. Dexter on the run. Kelly has it. Kicks it back out to Rawson. He's going to be called for steps. 38-35. to go in this third period. Josh Dowdy has done a good job with this little Puxico team, Bill. He has, and and, uh, Puxico has just lost a lot of close games. Sure has. Ball intended that time for Allison, and uh, ball passed outside. Jay Hahn just happened to be at the right place at the right time. Keep that turnover from happening. Allison with the ball to Hahn. Dexter's defense has really picked up, Tommy. McClure has it to Hahn. Inside to Kane. Ball tipped out. Allison has it. Gets it to Smith. Dexter's really picked up the pace on defense. I mean, they're getting after him. Puck, they're not allowing Puxico to square up out there on that three point out around the perimeter, are they? Sure not. Smith with a drive, goes in, puts it off the board, and scores it. John Smith with his first bucket of the second half. He's got one free throw. He has 12 in the game, 38-37. Dexter still on top by one. Rawson has it to Hessling. Back to Rawson. To Kelly for three. He scores it. I want to tell you, oh, this young man here impresses me. He's a shooter now. He has uh, four threes in the game, Tommy. He now has... Five and a quarter, 18 in the game. With timeout on the floor, you're watching the 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament on YHC-TV. 
What if sports were much more than just a game? And there was more at stake than just the score. What if it were possible to see the world impacted for Jesus Christ through the influence of athletes and coaches? Hi, my name is Bill Ray. I'm the area representative for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in Southeast Missouri. If you'd like to see athletes and coaches striving to win, doing it God's way, call me at 280-0932 or go to fca.org and put in your zip code. FCA, the heart and soul in sports. The absolute first thing is honesty is the best policy. Treat people how you want to be treated. People keep coming back to Allen Christian because so they get a good, honest, fair deal and the service is uh, second to none. This is a family atmosphere with no pressure. We treat people right and everybody seems to like it. We try to take care of them the way we'd want to be taken care of and uh, our loyal customers know that. That's why they keep coming back and uh, we hope to continue that for a long time. Come and experience how fun shopping can be in beautiful, historic downtown Dexter. If you're looking for floral, framing, and gift ideas, check out Weber's Ben Franklin. Also, Weber's Ben Franklin has cards for all occasions. Jay Hahn starts the third quarter, comes out, bombs a three. And then, boy, I mean, that Dexter defense tightened up. They're trying, trying to keep that ball out of his hands. They know he's a good shooter. And this is uh, Drew Kelly. Man, he is a fine shooter. He'll he back is. Up behind that line, drill it. you got to get on him. Well, what I like about Kelly, what I like about Han, what I like about Allison, they square that body they sure up. Do. They square those shoulders up to the goal, and now they're getting a good look. They're not shooting off for the side. And, and when you do that and keep that elbow in and at wrist, uh, you've got a good chance That's to make right. it. Exactly right. Now, I'm not going to say you're going to make every one of them, but you've got you a got good a chance. chance. You bet. Sure. You're not pushing. You're not shoving. You're shooting the basketball. Somebody has worked with these young men very good. You coaches are doing a great job. Jay Hahn with the ball. Gives it to Allison. 41-37. Four minutes to go in this third period. Smith with the ball. Gets it to Kane. Kane to Hahn for three. Knocks it down. What they wanted to do, work that ball around. Called Hahn open. He hit that thing. That's Hahn's fourth three of the night. He has all his points are three-pointers. He has 12. Oh, what a nice spin move by Eric Wyndham. Puts it down. Eric Wyndham is having a game. He is. Eric Wyndham was a good player last year, but he's more mature this year. He's really make, being a force in there. Well said. Fourth point of the quarter. He has eight on the night. Smith with the ball. Gives it to Hahn. Back to Smith. Smith's going to drive. Good spin move. Picks a dribble up. Gives it out to Hahn. Hahn's going to drive. Rawson's on him. Or uh, Hessling's on him. Gives it to Smith. To Allison. To Kane. Smith for three. Short. We're going to have a foul. Foul is going to be on Eric Wyndham for a push off. That's going to be Wyndham's second foul. Team's third of the uh, period. Coming in for David Hessling is Logan Carwell. Logan had a good first half. Yes, he did. Smith on an inbounds pass. Put it up, would not go, ball blocked. Oh man, what a power move that time by David Kane on a putback. He's gonna to go to the line to try to convert on the three point play. 43-42. Dexter on top of Fuxico. Kane ties the game up there with that free throw. Coming in for Dexter for David Hart or for Kevin Hart. Hart picked up his fourth foul there. Coming in for him is Tyler Scott. That foul could come back to Hurt. Yeah, Dexter. Sure could. They need they need Hart. Logan Carwell for three. Buries it. Nice shot put sure up by well. the young man. His first three. He has eight in the game. 46-43. Boy, what a great game. Great game. Yeah, th this is fun. I'll tell you, the folks are enjoying this. Matt Allison with a drive. Gives it to Kane. Kane to Smith. Smith skips it over to McClure to Allison. 
Out to McClure for three. I'll tell you what, the big boy. The big boy steps out there and drains one, didn't he? His first points of the night buries it for three, ties this game with 2.20 to go in the third period. Eric Queen on the drive, going to be called for steps. 46 all with 2.19 to go in this third period. Puxico with the ball. Extra still in a press. Jay Hahn with the ball. Down to two minutes to go in this third quarter. Tie game. The big guy. How about that now? Tell you what, he says I did a while ago. I believe I'm going to do it again. 49-46. Gary McClure with back-to-back threes. Logan Carwell for three. Will not go. Rebounded by Smith. Allison has it. Puxico on a run. Back to Allison. He puts up a shot. Will not go. And we're going to have a push foul there. Against the Dexter Bearcats, going to be against Eric Wyndham. Wyndham just happened to be in the wrong place sure at the wrong time. Sure did. This Smith- Puxico team really come out here and they put some pressure. Now they've shot that ball down through there and hit some good shots. They got yes, back they in this game, took the lead. Matt Allison with 14 in the game, puts this one up, scores it. His first point of the third period. 50 46, 139 to go in this third period. Second one up. Knocks it home. 51-46, Puxico on top of five. It's her biggest lead, Tommy. Sure, sure is. Rawson over two. Kelly, Kelly puts up a shot. It's short. Rebound by Jay Hahn. Jay Hahn. Puxico. Dexter's gone cold. Yes, they have. On to Allison. Down in the corner to Kane for three. No good. Rebounded by Eric Wyndham. Wyndham on the run. Gets the ball out to Rawson. Over to Kelly. Back to Rawson. Down in the corner to Carwell. Carwell to Rawson. Inside to Eric Wyndham. Wyndham with a turnaround jump shot. No good. Rebounded that time by Smith. Gets it to Allison. We're under one minute to go in this third period. Been a good period for the Puxico Indians. It has. Puxico in no hurry. They pull it out. See if they try to, to work it on the perimeter and then get it inside. 35 seconds to go. Smith with the ball. Gives it to Allison. Carwell's on him. They get the ball over to Hahn. Oh, nice little jump shot there by Allison. Will not go. Kane with the rebound. Gets it back to Allison. Jay Hahn for three for the top of the key. Knocks it down. Jay Hahn with five threes in this game, and he has 15 points. Puxico up by nine, 54 or by eight, 54-48. Nice drive at time nice by time. Bobby Rawson, or by, uh, uh, not Rawson, excuse me, Logan Carwell. And that's going to end the third quarter with Puxico on top of Dexter, 54-48. to 48. With a former All-State basketball player and a current school board member, the law firm of Welch, Todd, and Parker supports high school athletics. Our firm is involved in all areas of the law, and your first consultation is free. The firm is comprised of attorneys John Welch, Darren Todd, and Cameron Bunning Parker, along with four staff members ready to serve you. Welch, Todd, and Parker is located at 100 West Main in Malden. Come by or call us at 573-276-2261 for any of your legal needs. How are you doing today? Doing great and wonderful. Hello and welcome to What's Cooking in Our House. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Hometown Shorts. Todd, welcome to the show. Bill, thank you very much. Year, so or this game, uh, tournament, so I'm not sure. What a good third quarter for the Puxico Indian. David Kane had a nice third quarter. Puxico was down 34-31 going into the quarter. They take the lead 54-48 to going into the fourth quarter. Puxico made a run, hit some very, very important shots, and then stepped to the free throw line, been hitting those free throws. Dexter is going to bring Hart back in off the bench. Hart's got four fouls. Eric Wyndham with three. They've got to have Hart in the game. Hart's such a force inside. He's a good rebounder. He's a good shooter. This ball game is really tightened up. It's going to be a nice game. 
It may go down to who's got the ball last, Bill. I'll tell you, Tommy, that was a big quarter for Puxico. Sure Puxico was. outscored Dexter that quarter, 23 to uh, 14. You said that. and uh, But I tell you, that that was very impressive. Uh, McClure, Kerry McClure stepped up oh, and hit two big threes. Sure did. And uh, his only point so far, but, boy, he buried it from the corner, and then he uh, was feeling so good he shot another one and missed <laughs> it. But two for three is not bad not, for the big not boy. Not bad. You know, they were covering up Han. From shooting that three. The man, like you say, he steps out and buries three. <laughs> There's two of them. And almost hit another one. That thing done everything but go in. You know, Dexter's had their shots in there. They've just been coming up short, falling off a little bit. But I think uh, this ball game is going to tighten up. Puxico starts the fourth and final period with the ball. Smith has it. Gets it to Hunt. Back to Smith. Dexter is, their defense is really going to stiffen up. Now, I guarantee you, you watch Dexter get after it this quarter. McClure with the ball to Smith, to Hahn, to Allison, to Smith. Boy, Wyndham is really coming out and he getting sure aggressive is. on that on that offensive uh, or defensive uh, uh, pressure point. Hahn inside to Smith. Smith's going to drive in. Well, nice spin move. Moves. Puts it up. Will not go. Rebound by Eric Wyndham. Gives to Bobby Rawson. Rawson with the ball. Across the timeline to Hessling. Hessling inside to Hart. Hart's back in for Dexter. He has a ball slapped out of his hands. The ball goes to Kelly. Kelly over to Wyndham. Wyndham to Bobby Rawson. Back out to Drew Kelly. To Rawson. Seven minutes to go in this fourth and final frame. Kelly for three. Buries it. it. Well, this Kelly's a shooter. He can oh, step out man, there I like him. Do too. He has five threes. We've got two players. One for Puxico and uh, Jay Hahn. The other one, Drew Kelly for Dexter. Each have five threes in this game. 54-51, Dexter back within three. Hahn with the ball to Smith. Smith down in the corner, and the ball tipped out of bounds by the Dexter Bearcats. Puxico will keep possession under their own basket. Inbounding will be Matt Allison. Let's see if they set a play to get the ball in and then get it back to right. Allison or to Hahn. They're going to have to get it in, and they do. Yeah, that's They got it to Kane to Hahn. Allison comes out to the top of the key, gets it, puts up a jump shot. No good. Rebounded by Eric Wyndham. He gives to Bobby Rawson. Down to David Hessling for three. That oh, he goes. Got the bounce, didn't he? he sure did. That soft touch. Sure was. I tied this ball game. 54 all, 6.15 to go. Hessling's first three of the night. Nice drive by Smith, and it's going to be it. good. Smith drove in. It's going to be fouled. John Smith. Has 14 on the night. Going to go to the line to, to try to make the conventional three-point play. The foul that time on. Eric Wyndham, his fourth. Dexter five or six fouls now. Puxico's not fouled in this oh, fourth yeah. and final period. Or uh, second half. Second, yeah. Smith shot good. He has 15 in the game. Drew Kelly with the ball. Gets it over to Wyndham. 57-54. Hassling. Did a great job to save oh, that sure ball from did. going out of bounds. Kelly with the ball to Wendell, to Rawson. Inside to Hart. Hart from the free throw line. Puts it up. No good. Rebound that time. Tipped around. And Puxico maintains possession. Good hustle good that hustle. time by Jay Hahn. Smith with the ball. Off his foot. Hessling. And we're going to have a foul on Matt Allison as Hessling had a breakaway sure layup. Did. It was incidental, but it happened. Allison's second foul, the team's first of the second half. Rob Nichols of Dexter, their head coach, has asked for a timeout. So with timeout on the floor, you're watching the 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament on YHC-TV. She turned around and left the cave, and I'm standing there by the pool of water alone, and... It just brought up a whole bunch of issues that. Ten piuże nie ma atramentu. What? I wtedy możemy zacząć dopiero pracować. Using a broker you can't understand doesn't make much sense either. That's why Edward Jones speaks in the language you can understand. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. For the Edward Jones office nearest you, call 1-800-EDJONES or visit edwardjones.com. 
Imagine a future where one company could offer you cable, internet, and phone. Well, with New Wave, you get digital cable with DVR, HD TV, and an interactive guide. Unbelievable speed with high-speed internet. And now, even digital phone service, giving you unlimited calling coast to coast. All from one company. Welcome to the future. Call New Wave Communications now for great installation specials. Well, this has turned out to be a fine ball game. This, this little Puxico team, you got to take your hats off to them. You know, they're bad on this much more depth Dexter team, and they're doing a good job. And we've got some shooters on both ends of the court stand back here and bury that three-pointer. And then Wyndham's playing a good game in there, but him and Hart both sitting there with four fouls, and uh, they could afford to lose either one of those guys because they're a force. But I'll tell you what, they would like to have Jay Hahn touch that ball every time down through here because, you know, he is kind of the – He's kind of the captain of that team. And, well, he, uh, Allison, or, or uh, right. Smith, Smith is working the ball inside. He's going inside pretty pretty good. Uh -huh. On the other hand, Dexter has is, is really impressed me with their shooting from the outside uh -huh. and, and the way that they have uh, gone inside. Hart and uh, Wyndham have really gotten stronger this year, yeah. and, and uh, it's just a good ball game. It is. Like you said earlier, it may go down who has the ball uh -huh. last. Hessling with the ball for the Bearcats. Down in the corner to Kelly. Kelly back to Hessling. Jay Hahn runs over him. A foul's going to be on Jay Hahn, his fourth, the team's second. Hahn going for the steal, ran over. Sure did. David Hessling coming in for Hahn is going to be Travis Stewart. Again, Stewart, a 5'8 junior. Hessling to inbound for the Bearcats. 5.26 to go, Tommy. It's getting crunch time it for both teams. Puxico on top by three. Here's Hessling for three. Will not go it short. Rebounded on the floor by Stewart. He gets the ball to Smith. It's two on two. Smith's going to drive, puts it up, but he's going to be a foul on the floor. Foul on the floor. Going to line to shoot a 1-1. One -one. Will be John Smith. The foul is going to be on Drew Kelly. It's going to be his third. Team seventh. Again, Puxico is in the one and one from here out until they get to the double bonus. Right. Smith is three for four from the line tonight. His free throw is up, scores it. He gets the bonus now. He has four and a quarter, 16 in the game. Young man's played a great game. Sure has. Bonus up, no good. Wyndham with the rebound. Ralston has it. Dexter trails. Pucks a Coba four inside to Kevin Hart, and he bounces the ball on the end line. Ball turned over to Puxico. Who made that play that time was the big guy, Kerry sure McClure. Was. And when Hart got it, he, he put the ball back down. I mean, the ball was tipped when it got to him. It was not a crisp pass. We've got a timeout on the floor by Puxico. With timeout on the floor, you're watching the 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament on YHC TV. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start career training. At TRCC, I'm getting training for a good job with a good salary. Three Rivers has high-tech equipment. Great instructors. And convenient classes. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Single white female enjoys shopping, long walks, and cuddling. Will you marry me? Investing with someone you've never met doesn't make much sense either. That's why Edward Jones opens offices in our clients' neighborhoods, so you can get investment advice from someone you actually know. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Kerry McClure has had a good good game tonight, Bill. Gets in there, he's been bad on those boards. He's he's altered a shot or two, and he's got some rebounds. He just played very good. Bucks and Coles come out in the second half, and I tell you, they've, they've turned it up a notch, and they they're, they're told Dexter, we're going to bring it to you. And, and Dexter turns some old shooters loose in the minute, though, and they'll tie this thing up. Just four points ahead, 58-54, Bucks and Coles. Still got 4.59 to go. Well, you're talking about the, the two big guys, McClure and Kane for Puxico. Those guys have played a very uh, important role sure inside. 
And uh, the, the guards outside have been shooting the ball very well for Puxico. Kane with the ball, gets it inside to Smith. Smith goes up, knocks a home. with 4.45 to go in the game. A lot of basketball left in this game. Hessling out on the perimeter, goes over to Hessling. He goes out in the corner to Hart for three. Kevin Hart Hart knocks that home. His first points of the second half. It's his first three. He has nine on the night. Back back across the timeline. Turnover by Puxico. That that drive you nuts. (laughs) Look at Josh Dowdy. Now, he wouldn't have messed up his hair if he had had hair like me. Yeah. <laughs> a three-point line can sure change a ball game in oh, a hurry. yes. Dexter trails by three. Ralston in from the free throw line. Knocks it home. Nice shot by Bobby Ralston. He has four in the game. 60-59. Dexter trails by one with 4-10 to go. Smith with the ball. Cross the timeline. Gets it to Kane. To Smith to Allison. Hey, Dexter's defense is just tough, isn't it? It sure is. Allison finds a way to get open and buries it. Matt Allison with his first points of the fourth quarter. He's 18 in the game, 62-59, 3.50 to go in this game. Ralston has it to Hessling. Hessling thought about three, gives it to Hart. Hart it does not hesitate, puts oh. it up, scores it again. Hart hit back-to-back threes. He sure has. We got a brand-new game, 62 sure all with 3.35 to go. I guarantee Hart didn't back off, no. did he? He's hit him from both sides, those threes along the baseline. Allison with the ball, taken away by the Bearcats. Hessling with the ball, Dexter a chance to take their first lead in quite some time. Hessling with the ball. Gives it to Hart. Hart for the corner again. Will not go, ball short. Nice block out by nice McClure. Block out. Very nice. Gives it to Allison, to Smith. Smith, a nice spin move, goes inside. We're going to have a charge foul on John Smith. Out of control when he did that turn. Smith's first foul of the game. Very good call. It was a good call. Guy was set in there. Third team foul by Puxico this half. With 3.07 to go in this fourth and final period, we've got a tie score between Dexter and Puxico, 62 all. You're watching the 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament on YHC-TV. Glen Sane Ford on Highway 49 North in Perigal is your Ford Mercury dealer. Glen Sane and Perigal has great deals every day on all Ford and Mercury vehicles. We also have the best selection of pre-owned vehicles around. Glen Sane and Perigal has an outstanding service department with some of the top technicians in the country. We're located on Highway 49 North in Perigal. Glen Sane Ford where our price and friendliness bring you here and our service bring you back. Come and experience how fun shopping can be in beautiful, historic downtown Dexter. At Gregory's Creations, fragrant candles and limp a fills the air. Brides are registering for fine china. Many unique gift ideas and a warm, friendly atmosphere is created at Patricia's Tea Room. Plus, Patricia's Tea Room serves lunch Thursday through Saturday at 11 to 2. Call J.R. York, attorney at law. If you've been injured by another's negligence, hurt at work, or denied disability. Over 20 years experience, J.R. York, attorney at law. Call 624-7406. We got three minutes and seven seconds to decide this one. It's been a nice ball game. It- the crowd's got their money's worth on this. This Dexter Bearcat team was down by six, not just, just a little bit of goal, and they come down, buried a couple threes, and they've tied this thing up. And Puxico had to take a timeout and see what's going on here. They're going to regroup and gonna, probably going to bring – yeah, they're going to bring uh, Jay Hahn back in the ball game. And well, they, they're going to have to. You bet. Hahn's got four fouls. He's going to have to be careful. Kevin Hart's got four fouls for the Bearcats. He's playing very aggressively, sure, yeah. but he's playing smart. Yes, he is. Yeah, Hart's playing real smart. Oh, yeah, you, you can you can uh, have four fouls That's and play right. smart. Ralston with the ball, gets it over to Kelly. You know, Kelly's gotten awful quiet. They've sure got to get is. it back to him. Ralston with a drive, puts it up, will not go. John Smith with the rebound. Matt Allison with the ball across the timeline. Gives the ball to McClure, to Smith. 2.45 to go in this game. Pucks it go with the ball, a chance to take the lead. Smith to Allison. 
Gets the ball to Jahan. To McClure to Allison. Down in the corner to McClure for three. Puts it up, Rangers. scores it. This McClure has come alive in this second half with that three-point line. He's got three threes in the game. He's got nine points in all of them in the second half, and he's, he likes to get in the corner. We sure see does. that. Kelly for three. Will not go. Jay Hahn with the rebound with two minutes to go in this game. Puxico Indians on top of the Dexter Bearcats, 65-62. We knew this was going to be a D-A-N-D-Y yeah, dandy, dandy yeah. didn't we? It has turned out to be. Oh, shot put up that time by Smith would not go, put up by McClure would not go, and we've got a push off that time against the Puxico Indians. Foul's going to be on John Smith. His second. Puxico had their chances. Oh, they did. Too easy. Lay it off of it. I say easy, but, I mean, they had a good chance there, wide open. In the corner, Hart for three, will not go. McClure with the rebound. Puxico on top by three with 1.25 to go in the game, Tommy. Right. It's getting crunch time. Puxico, a good free throw shooting team. They're not afraid to go the free throw no, line. They are in the one and one. Dexter is not. Puxico can be very aggressive on defense. Smith with a drive, goes in, puts it up, scores oh, it. Scores it. Hart was there to contest him a little bit, but those four fouls, he couldn't do a whole lot. He just had sure to let him go on in. Smith with eight in the quarter, 20 in the game. Quick timeout with 107 to go. Dexter trails, Puxico 67-62. You're watching the 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament on YHC TV. How are you doing today? Doing great and wonderful. Welcome to What's Cooking in Our House. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Hometown Shorts. Todd, welcome to the show. Bill, thank you very much. Year, so, or this game, uh, tournament, so I'm not... Hey, Bill, we still got a minute, seven seconds to go in a 67-62 ball game. It's still wide open. This is anybody's game. Whoever wins this ball game certainly deserved it because both teams have played an excellent basketball game. Both coaches had those teams prepared. i tell you what, Tommy, this has been a great game sure to, to call, a great game to watch as you're a spectator. hope you've enjoyed it watching on White Sea TV on uh, Channel 21 on your new wave cable. Right. You know, I love doing basketball, and we did those first few games, and, you know, and that's what you expect. The number one team is going to usually blow out the, the 16th seed. But this is what you live for. When you get down in here this crunch time, you got these two good schools going at it. you got to love it. Well, very few games in the first round are, are as competitive as this. That's right. Uh, but there's so many even teams in this that's tournament. Right. Uh, the game prior to this, uh, the Van Buren-Bloomfield game. Exactly. Van Buren was ahead of Bloomfield. Bloomfield went on a 15-2 run right. into the third quarter and the start of the fourth quarter. And, and end up winning by 10, but that was a close game all the way it through. It sure was. Sure and uh, was. the fans like that. Yes. Kelly with the ball, gets it to Hessling. Notice how Smith has come out and really got on Kelly. They're yes, playing a is. box. Uh, well, they're in a man-to-man -man now. Oh, a nice drive that time by Logan Carwile. Couldn't get it to go. Jahan with the rebound. We're down to 45 seconds to go. Puxico with a five-point lead and the ball. And Smith is going to be tripped. Let's see who the foul is going to be on. Foul's going to be on number three, David Hessling, his third, going to the line to shoot a one and one will be John Smith. Smith is four for six from the line, Tommy. This Bucks go team good in the free throw line. I'll say that. I hope it didn't jinx them. <laughs> Well, we don't mean to jinx anybody, no, exactly. okay? <laughs> We're here to call the That's game. That right. is like a good basketball yes. game. Yes. And we hope that you people uh, understand and appreciate that. We're, we don't pull for any team. No. We're just here to see good basketball and, and call it for you uh, folks that are watching the game. Smith's free throw up. Rolls around. Falls in. He now has 21 in the game, Tommy. 21. He's had a nice game. He sure has. Well, he drives that lane, puts up that left hand, left-handed. He just had a nice game. Second one up, scores it. 
Seven point lead with 45 seconds to go in the game. Puxy Cole on top of the Bearcats, 69-62. Eric Quinton with a drive, puts it up, scores it, he's gonna go to the line. Oh, Coach Dowdy didn't like that, and I don't blame him. Anyway. If you go to foul, you can't, you let, can't him let him score. No. Went up to the line to try to con convert on the three-point play. Jay Hahn is going to foul out. Had a good basketball game, Jay Hahn. Hahn hit five three-pointers, was 0 for 1 from the line, and he ended up with 15 points. Hahn is a 5'8 senior. We enjoyed watching him sure. last year and have so far this year. He's, he's a good guy. He gives you all he's got. He's a hustler. Eric Wyndham to the line. He is 0 for, 0 for 4 there tonight, Tommy. Free throw up. Will not go. Kane with the rebound. Gets it to Allison. Over to McClure. To Smith. And we're going to have a walking on Smith with 33.4 seconds to go. Dexter with the ball. Trail by five. 69-64. Pucks it go ahead. Still a lot of time this basketball game. Yeah, Dexter does not have to have the three-pointer right now. Ross with the ball. They need to get after it. They're trying to spread the court. Ross it inside. Puts a... Layup up, will not go. Rebound by Carwile. He's going to go up with it. Will not go. Rebound it. We got a whistle. Foul's going to be on Logan Carwile on the back. Carwile with his second foul going the line to shoot a one and one. We think it's David Kane. No, they're going to send John Smith to the line. Yeah, okay. Fans liked that better, didn't they? I think so. Yeah. But the Puxico fans. <laughs> Smith's first one up, scores it. Puxico has been practicing free throws. 70-64, 22 seconds to go in this game. Knocks the second one down. 71-64. Tommy, we've got a timeout on the floor. Puxico on top of the Bearcats with 21.8 seconds to go. 71-64. You're watching the 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament on YHC TV. The absolute first thing is honesty is the best policy. Treat people how you want to be treated. People keep coming back to Allen Christian because they get a good, honest, fair deal and the service is uh, second to none. This is a family atmosphere with no pressure. We treat people right and everybody seems to like it. We try to take care of them the way we'd want to be taken care of and uh, our loyal customers know that. And that's why they keep coming back and uh, we hope to continue that for a long time. Imagine a future where one company could offer you cable, internet, and phone. Well, with New Wave, you get digital cable with DVR, HD TV, and an interactive guide. Unbelievable speed with high-speed internet. And now, even digital phone service, giving you unlimited calling coast-to-coast. -coast, all from one company. Welcome to the future. Call New Wave Communications now for great installation specials. Next, we're going to have to get the ball, get it down in a hurry. Look for a good shot and take it. And D up pretty hard on them, as you know, there's 30, 21 seconds, almost, or 21.8 seconds to go there. With that three-point line, this ball game is far from being over. Tommy, yeah. this is a three-possession game. That's right. And uh, Puxico takes care of the ball. They do. Uh, they, they should advance. That's right. Uh, Dexter's going to need a steal or a quick foul, and then hope that, uh, or, well, Dexter's got the ball, I, I should say. Dexter's going to have to go down. And now they, they probably need to get to three. Yeah, that's right. They and, and they're going to have to find Drew Kelly or, or Hart out there to uh, to uh, shoot the three for them. Uh, Carwile can shoot it. Hessling can shoot it. They're, they're going to need to get out there on that three-point perimeter, and as soon as they score, if they've got any timeouts left, they're going to need to call a timeout. Right. Yeah, then go for right. the steal. That clock's their enemy. It's been they, a great game. Hope you've been. enjoyed it. I'll tell you what, this, uh, Coach Dowdy's had his little Puxico Indian team prepared for this ball game. Carwile with the ball. Across the timeline. We've got a foul. It's going to be on number 10. It's going to be on Eric Williams. His first. Now, Dexter is still not in the one and one. They had a foul to give. Notice what they did. That's what they wanted to do. They wanted Dexter to bring the ball up the floor to milk some time off that clock. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got to uh, – they weren't ready. No. <laughs> 
Coach Turlington, say, or not Coach Turlington, the referee, Turling, uh, Todd Turlington. Uh-huh. He was still getting a player in and a whatnot, and uh, Rawson took the ball. Dexter tries to get it out. They get it to Hart for three. He puts it up, will not go. Eric Wyndham called. He tried to call timeout before he came down, was not given timeout. 13 seconds to go, 71-64. Puxico with the ball. Matt Allison down in the corner is going to be fouled by Drew Kelly, his fourth. Allison's going to go to the line with 11.9 seconds to go. Seventy-one sixty-four. Matt Allison shooting two. Double bonus. First one up. Scores it. Three and a quarter, 19 in the game. He's had a good game. Yes, he has. Offensively yeah. and defensively. John Smith going out for Puxico. Eric Williams back in. Again, What if anybody commits a foul, they want Williams to commit right. that foul. Second one up. Scores it. Allison with 20 now. Rawson for three, will not go. Ball kicked back to Kelly, puts it up, will not go. Eric Wyndham with a tip back, will not go, and we've got our first upset of the first 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament as Puxico beats Dexter 73-64. to You're watching. The 51st Bloomfield Christmas Tournament on White CTV. We'll be back in just a moment with the game wrap. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college or career classes. Three Rivers affordable tuition. Means Pell Grants go further. I can use A+. I got a scholarship. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Hey, Bob. Yeah, have you disinfected the area? Good. Now make a three-inch incision between the fourth and fifth abdominal muscles. Shouldn't you be doing this? It's really straightforward. Listen, I gotta go, Bob. I'll talk to you later. Making important financial decisions on your own doesn't make much sense either. That's why Edward Jones prefers meeting clients face-to-face. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Well, Tommy, we just have seen a great game between the Puxico Indians and the Bloomfield or the Bloomfield Dexter Bearcats. And uh, let's go over the final scoring here for you for the uh, winning Puxico Indians with 24 points, John Smith, 20 points, Matt Allison, 15 to Jay Hahn, 9 to Kerry McClure, 5 to David Kane. For the Dexter Bearcats, the Bearcats led in scoring by Drew Kelly with 21, 12 to Kevin Hart, 10 each to Logan Carwile and Eric Wyndham, seven to David Hessling, four to Bobby Rawson. What did you think of the game? Well, I thought it was a very good basketball game. I hate seeing any young men lose a game like that, but Dexter, no need to hang your head. You you gave it all you had. They played a good game. I think could have went either way. You got to you got to give credit to that Puxico Indian team. They come in here and they play some good basketball, and both teams were very hot behind that three point line. It was just a good basketball game. Congratulations to Pucks and Cole. They, uh, Pucks and Cole will uh, move over to play Bloomfield tomorrow at 5.30, and the Dexter Bearcats will play at 9.30 a.m. in the morning when they take on the Van Buren Bulldogs. I want to tell you, those, uh, those are going to be two good games they right sure there. Will be. That Van Buren team is pretty impressive today. Yes, they are. You got some big boys in there. Well, Tommy, again, we want to thank you for coming in and helping us with the ball game tonight. Hope you fans enjoyed that. We are at the uh, Bloomfield uh, Christmas Tournament, the 51st Christmas Tournament. Don't turn those TVs off because we're going to have the coaches' interviews after the game. I'll be anxious to see what they have to say. Yeah, that will be good. We've just completed the uh, fifth game of the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. I'm Charlie Flanagan, and I'm joined here by uh, head coach of the Dexter Bearcats, Rob Nichols. Rob, 
Dexter came up a little bit short uh, in the game tonight. Uh, Coach, tell me a little bit about your feelings on the game. Uh, we're disappointed, but we knew coming in that, that that's not a 12th seeded team. They beat us twice last year. And, you know, we weren't real happy about our draw when the seed meeting came out because we knew how bad we struggled with them last year. They had lost a couple of kids that were pretty important to them, but we lost, you know, a couple that were pretty important to what we did last year, too. So, you know, we're, we're struggling for consistency just within a game right now. Yeah, I, uh, you know, starting the game, I thought we started out just a little bit flat. We warmed up a little bit in the uh, second quarter, and then the third quarter came, and that really killed us. Right. Uh, what, what's your thought on all of that? We're having a lot of trouble getting started, and, you know, getting ourselves ready to play before a game. You go into the locker room, and I'm not sure how much kids are focused on basketball, really. And, you know, everybody gets ready in a different way. I mean, you yeah. know that, but they've got to get themselves ready to play. Uh, you know, they're prepared, and they know what they got to do, but it's just the intensity level we're not reaching. Yeah, they seem a little bit timid out there, uh, tentative uh, to me. It, it's right. almost like a uh, lack of confidence, and, and one big win will get them sparked and get them going. You know, the schedule we play early on, it's not a confidence builder. You're going up against all the heavyweights in southeast Missouri. So, you know, we competed pretty well. There's a few games we didn't play very well in. But, you know, the kids have to have confidence, and they have to believe that they can win. And right now, I think that if, if something goes bad, that – that confidence goes down. I'm not yeah. sure that they believe in themselves. Yeah, uh, you know, you played really well uh, against Sykeston the first half. You played really well against Poplar Bluff second half. If you could put those two halves together, you know, this team's going to be a heck of a team. You got to put it together for four quarters. Get four quarters every night. So. Well, you do, and and you mentioned uh, your schedule early on. Uh, you know, four of the first six were just brutal games. Right. I mean, they were really tough teams. But I've really got to believe that if these kids will just hang in there and keep playing hard, by the end of the year, they're going to be a pretty good basketball team. Yeah, you know, that we needed to win. I knew that Notre Dame game when we let slip away. That was a game that we needed to win, you know, just for confidence, yeah. and, and we didn't do it. So we've got to string some together sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I, I think you're right. And I think, you know, win a couple of ball games, and I think you'll see a different attitude in the mm -hmm. kids. Uh, you know, their face, facial features going to change and everything. Well. Let's talk a little bit about some of the positives of the game. What were some of the highlights that you saw for Dexter? Uh, you know, we shot the ball well at times defensively. You know, they hit a lot of threes. We did different things to guard it. But mainly what hurt us was the penetrating kick and them hitting threes. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, they just made shots. Uh, we played zone. We played man. We pressed. We didn't press. We even went to, you know, a half-court trap a couple of times, which wasn't very effective at all. We got out of that pretty quick. But... I don't think the kids ever got to a point that they quit. You know, they're not quitters. They just get, you know, a little bit frustrated, and we've got to be more consistent. But as a whole, you know, positives, the kids played hard. I thought. Yeah, the, uh, you know, you brought up the three-pointers in the second half. Number 11 had two or three of them in a row. Number 23 came out and hit those big ones in the corner. Right. Uh, they, were, they were pretty tough to stop, and they were kind of heartbreakers. Yeah, I mean, we knew those kids could shoot. I, we knew coming in we'd worked all week about them having four shooters on the perimeter. And we knew the penetrate and kick would hurt us. And, you know, if you can't guard him, if you don't guard well off the dribble, you know, they're going to get open threes no matter yeah. what defense you play. Yeah. Did you ever think that there was kind of a, a, a turning point in the game, a, a particular place that kind of th things kind of got away from you? I think when we were up 28 to 19 and, you know, they called a quick timeout and we came to the huddle with no emotion or no fire or no, yeah. no passion about what we'd just done. You know, most of the times you got kids high-fiving and we just didn't have that. And I knew right then if we didn't step on it that, we were going to have problems. Yeah. Because yeah. the way they shoot the ball, they're never out of a game. Yeah, you were up, uh, like you said, 28 19, so that's a nine point uh, difference. And then at halftime, it closed out a three point ball game yeah, and uh, had a great opportunity to really put some distance there mm -hmm. and make it a pretty tough second half. I thought that was a turning point of the game right there. Yeah. We lost a lot of momentum at that yeah. point. Well, um, you, you've got Van Buren uh, tomorrow. Uh, what do you know about them? Just what I saw about them today, you know, they've got one kid with some pretty good size. The rest of them, you know, are kind of small, but they press, play zone. Uh, they've got some kids who can shoot the ball, and, you know, 9.30 in the morning is a tough time to play. It's going to be whoever shows up to play. Yeah, that's 9.30 for them, too. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's whichever team can come out and show up to play, yeah. you know. Well, we've been joined here uh, today with uh, Coach Rob Nichols. Coach, good luck for the rest of the tournament. All right, thank you. Coach's Interviews brought to you by Charlie Flanagan, Edward Jones Financial Advisor and Dexter, 573-624-3528. Now I'm joined uh, by head coach of the uh, Puxico Indians, Josh Dowdy. Josh, congratulations on a big win. Um, 
this has got to be kind of bittersweet for you being a, a, an ex Dexter basketball player and then coming back and defeating your uh, old hometown uh, here in the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. But it's probably more sweet than bitter. <laughs> I'd have to agree with you. You know, you, you know, I'd be lying to you if I said that this wasn't pretty sweet beating your hometown. But when it's all said and done, it's not me. It's those guys that have Puxy Co. Indians on the front of their jersey out there that get the job done. And I just, as a coach, I couldn't be more proud of them. Well, uh, we really felt that they played well. Uh, I, I thought that they um, came up with all the loose balls. They came up with rebounds in key situations. Mm -hmm. um, you know, tell us a little bit about uh, how you thought the flow of the game went. That's about what I expected. I knew we were going to have to take care of the ball, and early on we didn't do that, and we were able to bounce back on defense and, and get back and, and keep them from getting some of those transition baskets, even despite the turnovers. But we took care of that in the second half. We made a little adjustment as far as our press offense because it was not working there yeah. in the first half. And we made that adjustment, and uh, it really worked out for us. And then, of course, you know, when you hit you know, whatever, ten, eight or ten threes, you know, that, mm -hmm. that doesn't, that's not too bad either. Yeah, uh, those were kind of nails in the coffin there. Uh, some real big threes by number 11. I'm sorry, I don't. Jahan. Uh, yeah. Jahan. And then uh, number 23 hit those big ones from the corner. Uh, they, they were real heartbreakers. Yeah, uh, you know, you mentioned your press offense early on. Uh, I thought Dexter's press gave you a little bit of trouble in the first half, but then in the second half, uh, it didn't give you a whole lot of trouble. What kind of adjustments did you make? We just had really two press offenses, and I just went to the backup plan. You know, <laughs> and honestly, that's the one we're most fam familiar with. I kind of rolled out a new press offense just for this game, and it backfired as a coach. So the, the kids went back to what they knew best, and yeah. I learned my lesson. You know, I was talking to Coach Nichols just a few minutes ago, and uh, he, he felt that the uh, real key uh, part of the game was when Dexter was up 28-19 in the second quarter. And you guys made a nice little run and closed it to within three of, of the uh, first half. You know, what all went on during that time period and, and uh, carry us on through? Well, we, you know, it's one of those deals. I, I have a, I'm a senior, dom we have a senior dominated team. And, I just challenged them right there that time out and said, you know, this is your last Christmas tournament. It's, it's do or die right here. You know, you got to dig deep. And these kids do, they respond to things like that just because it's just the will to win. They're competitors and yeah. they responded. And I think we did hit a th two, two or three threes in that right, little run. Right there in that stretch, mention, yeah. That helped out there as well. So. Yeah. Well, they really played hard and uh, <laughs> came up uh, with a big win tonight. Uh, tomorrow you play Bloomfield, Bloomfield yeah. the, home, the home team. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about them. Well, they have uh, a great squad there, and that, that Williamson kid, he is just tough to stop. We uh, faced them down the Bernie tournament and started the game pretty well, but that kid caught fire in the second half and dropped like 20 on us and ended up beating us there uh, in overtime on a half-court shot. So we're eager to get a chance to play them <laughs> again. But, you know, with that said, you know, they're in their home gym. They've got a great team. They're well coached. So uh, it's going to be a challenge, but we're up for it. Well, we've been joined by uh, Josh Dowdy, the head coach of the Puxico Indians. Coach, good luck, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, I appreciate it. Take care.